So I'm, I'm James Dale. I'm from Australia. Um, I was born in Australia, grew up there. I come from a city called Brisbane, which is up in the subtropics. So in Australia, we grow a lot of bananas, but nowhere near as much as many, many other countries. Um, but I've been working on bananas and the other, on genetic engineering of bananas for about 20 years. And we've actually got two big projects. Uh, one is the one that you've read about and you've been uh, researching, which is fabulous. I'm really impressed. Uh, and that is to uh, develop Cavendish bananas with resistance to Panama disease or Fusarium wilt. There are a no number of countries where people uh, harvest the bananas green rather, rather than yellow and they're full of starch and people cook those and that's their major source of starch. So, and we, we said to the regulator we wanted to take all of these transgenic events into, into the field because bananas are big, they don't grow well in glass houses. And, and we said to the regulator we wanted to take all these events through the field and they said yeah that's fine because bananas are essentially sterile. You don't, uh, you don't see bananas in the soil, it seeds in bananas that we eat. So what turned out from that is that one of the combinations, one of the genes and, and the way we were using it, turned out to be by far the best. It's not expressed, it's not made in very high quantity in Cavendish. So our project now, we've, we've been doing it probably for the last six to eight months, is to turn that gene on again in Cavendish. So rather than... Or do you modify any other fruits or vegetables? Okay, yeah, we do. Um, so I, I, certainly with, with, with uh, bananas, we do a lot of genetic modification. So I, I was talking about the first one previously about uh, increasing the level of pro-vitamin A. That's a very advanced uh, advanced project. Um, there's another disease in Cavendish called bunchy top. And it's, uh, uh, it doesn't occur in, in, in the Americas, but occurs right throughout Asia and Africa. Um, and so we've, we've um, taken a gene from the, it's called, caused by a virus, uh, putting it into bananas, that activates the banana immune system and hopefully will produce bananas that exist. So that, um, that project is in field trials in Malawi. It's another country in Africa, only a little one, but um, uh, it's, it's going very, very well. Since you've been talking about all these different types of bananas, when do you think they'll be in the market in the U.S. or the other parts of the world? Okay, so the first ones will be our um, our uh, bananas in Africa that, we, that have the pro-vitamin A. They'll be in the market around about 2020. So that's still a fair way away. Um, the ones uh, with Panama disease resistance in the U.S. were probably looking about 2000. 23. So, so about the time you guys are going to be finishing school and going to college, um, you'll be able to see, when, when you see those bananas in the market, you say, hey, we talked to the, one of the guys who was, was, was developing those way, way back when we were, when we were at school. Anybody else? McKenna, go ahead. Yeah, I love my job. <laughs> I love my job for a whole range of reasons. One is um, uh, we get to do some really important work, like like uh, trying to develop or developing bananas with disease resistance. Um, the other thing, and, and the sorts of things which come totally out of the blue, I get to meet people from all around the world um, because and, and in, in really interesting countries. So on uh, on Thursday, I'm going down to Ecuador. Sorry, so didn't quite catch that. that. Have you ever thought of giving up on your project? Giving up on your project? project? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, I'm, 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 I should say, I've got a team of about 14, 14 uh, scientists and students working with me, so I'm, I'm, I'm the sort of, uh, I'm, I'm the front man. man. Um, uh, and, and I've got uh, scientists that have been working with me for 20, 20 years. Um, um, if, if I, I retire, <laughs> I haven't got any plans to. Um, they will take over. So this, these, as I said, these are long-term projects, and uh, so other people will take over from me. It's, this is something that we're very strongly committed to.
I should, I should mention, mention something that you, you guys, guys might be interested in. You've heard of, I hope you've heard of, you've heard of Bill Gates. Gates. Wow. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, so Bill and Melinda Gates, Gates have a foundation that funds one of our projects, and that's what two of our projects, um, both of them in Africa. And about four years ago, Bill and Melinda Gates came out to Australia. And they, and they came, came up to, to, to Queensland, up to North, North Queensland, where our field trial is, and we, and we spent, spent an afternoon with them. them. And that and was an amazing experience, because here's this guy who made all of his money out of, out of um, uh, computer software, uh, coming up and talking about bananas. And uh, it was really interesting, he'd been funding the project for about eight years at that stage, and he said to me, when, when are we going to release those bananas, bananas to the farmers? And I said, no, nah, Bill, it's probably going to be another, another eight years. And I thought, this, this is not going to be good. good. And, and he said, well, lucky we started when we did. So um, this guy, let me tell you, is one of, the, one of the best people in the world. He's really committed to helping uh, the developing world and, and also spent lots of money in US schools. Um, very impressive, both he and his wife.